Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the .223 Revolver Redux mod which is being made by user Skibata. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is this beautiful new revolver which I have been having a whole lot of fun with as it can be turned into a very, very powerful weapon with the right modifications. And what makes it even better is that this gun may actually be familiar to some of you guys. If you've played New Vegas, Fallout 1, or Fallout 2, you may remember the .223 revolver from those games, that gun, and basically this is not exactly a carbon copy of that gun, but a version of it that is very unique to the Commonwealth. And the mod maker has given it some interesting lore-friendly reasons for being here, and that is that they are actually custom-made weapons by by the most talented gunner weaponsmiths as a badge of honor for their veteran commanders. And because of that, how you will get a hold of this gun most likely, unless you cheat like I did, is you'll actually have to kill a very high ranking gunner for their pistol. Now, alternatively, you may also find it on some very high ranking raiders who may have perhaps killed a gunner themselves, and also you will be able to find it in some stores. Now, the basic gun, once you do find it in its most simple sort of variety, is the heavy .223 revolver pistol, and it is a pretty decent gun on its own. It, of course, uses the 556 ammunition type, will do 45 damage at a fire rate of 6, range of 80, accuracy of 66, with a fairly hefty weight for a revolver at 7.1. Though boy, can it get heavier with some of the other variations. Now you'll notice we actually have a fair few mods over here, which isn't just the standard sort of receiver, barrel, grip, and sights, but we also have a paint scheme here, which I quite like this one being rusty. I think it very much fits in with the whole wasteland vibe for the this being a custom-made gun. And then we also have ammunition type, which, oh man, that is something I have missed from Fallout New Vegas. The ability to actually change between, like, armor piercing and normal rounds when you come across an armored enemy. Now, of course, to change this gun on the fly, you'd need a weapon workbench with you at all times, but nonetheless, you can change it to different kinds of rounds for different kinds of situations, which is quite cool. And overall, it looks freaking sweet. Now, this is with the uh, rusty paint scheme on it, which again, I like as it does feel very wasteland. But we do have some other paint schemes, which I'll show you in here first, because they're easier to see with the other guns I've modified. So we have a flame paint scheme right here with uh, my lovely compensated advanced revolver pistol that I made, which <laughs> does a lot of damage, as you can see right there. We then also do have, I believe this one is the gunner paint scheme. Yes, there we go. We got the lovely green with the gunner decals on it, which is quite handy to have, and just a very, very cool color scheme there. And then finally, we have the clean paint scheme, which is very similar to the rusty one, except, you know, it doesn't have the rust on it. It's just a nice, clean looking weapon. Very cool indeed. Now, once you do have one of these on hand, you can just go up to any weapon workbench to actually play around with it, and we will go and do that now. And we'll look at just our base model here at what all we can change on this. Now, up on the receivers, we have a fair few options. Now, this is one thing, I'm actually not entirely sure if the heavy receiver is the standard model, because uh, I've been finding mostly light receivers so far in the game from uh, gunners that I've killed, but the occasional heavy receiver on one as well. But yes, either you'll have a heavy receiver, which is just much more damage at a slower firing rate, or a light receiver, which is less damage, but at a much higher firing weight, and uh, less, less weight in poundage there, always good. You then have a hardened variety of both of them for additional damage, a powerful variety, and then finally an advanced variety, which, oh boy, look at that 84 damage that that uh, advanced heavy receiver does. You will, of course, though, need gun nut and science at fairly high levels, and as you can see here, the single action speed, negative 30%, 8.2 pounds added, and a 100% increase in damage. Very, very cool. Now, in the barrels, not quite as many things, but we have a short barrel design, a long barrel design for better hip fire accuracy, 
a long ported barrel for even better hipfire accuracy and sighted accuracy as well. And then finally, a bull barrel, which is the best hipfire accuracy and range with sighted accuracy, which seems odd. Usually the barrels you'll have the uh, trade-off between hipfire or sighted, but you know, these seem to be good for all of them and just varying degrees of it and increasing levels of gun nut. Next, we have the different grips. We have the standard one here. We then also have a comfort grip, which will, of course, improve the recoil and hip fire accuracy. A guarded version, which is also technically considered standard, besides the standard grip, which has no additional stats, except for, ooh, actually, no, there is a small accuracy boost that you can see right there if we go between the two. Very good. And then finally, a spiked grip, which will add in a nice little bit of spikes to the fronts for a bit of melee damage. Always good to have. Now, then in the sights, we get some interesting ones here. We have the standard iron sights, some pin sights, ring sights, which I actually really like the ring sights. They're quite cool. They're almost like an in-between of iron sights and reflex sights. They're very cool. We then have a glowing ring sight for better use at night. The regular reflex sight, a 2.5x combat scope, 4x combat scope, short scope, night sight, and then finally a recon scope, all of which will help you just do whatever various needs you have for your weapon. Very, very fun to play around with all of those. Then for the muzzle, oh man, we got some interesting things in here. Four out of the five things in this category will help compensate the gun to various degrees. We of course have a compensator, then a muzzle break, which does the same, but will improve the recoil control, but at more loss of range. Then an advanced compensator, which again, more recoil control, but even less range. And then finally, the advanced muscle break, which look at that thing. That is just interesting, but has the best recoil control and also the least range. And then finally, a suppressor, because of course, you're going to need a suppressor for this insanely powerful gun. Good times. Now, the next is the different paint schemes, which we already went over. We have the clean of the flames of the gunner and, of course, the rusty, which actually I guess you could see them quite nicely in here. But uh, there we go. No requirements for them except for uh, rank requirements you can see there. And you will notice, though, that the rusty actually makes it so that the gun has less damage. Look at that, the Arresti is 25% decrease in damage and 25% decrease in range. Cause hey, you haven't taken care of your weapon. And I actually kinda like that, that it's a paint scheme that also does affect stats. I think that's quite cool. The others though, they do not affect any stats. They just put it back to the normal speed of things. And actually, I meant to actually put a suppressor on this thing so we can hear that sound. We'll do that momentarily. And then finally, we have the different rounds. So we have a full metal jacket rounds, which will decrease damage, but increase armor penetration. The AP armor piercing rounds, which again, decrease damage, but greatly increase armor penetration. The jacketed hollow points, which greatly increase damage. And the jacketed soft point rounds, which have no stat bonus penalties whatsoever. They're sort of the standard gun rounds. And yes, those are all the different modifications that we can make, and I really do love what all you can do with this gun. So let us actually take a look at these on the firing line and see what they sound like. Now, we actually put a silencer on this one, so we'll hear it silenced first, because I actually haven't heard this yet. I haven't played around with the silencer, so I'll be quiet for a moment. And there we go, a couple of shots, not exactly the quietest thing even with the silencer, but you can see definitely a powerful gun with a slow, slow firing rate, but overall very good and very, very nice reload animation. But let's actually play with the compensated advance, which is my most powerful of them, to hear it without the silencer. Oh uh, yeah, that's just a great sound right there. And again, very powerful. This is, I believe, the most powerful combination of mods which can do 117 damage before any stat increases. I don't have any of the perks for pistols or anything like that, so uh, take those into account for if you have them, you could be doing potentially even more with this gun. Now, of course, both of these were the heavy receivers, so they're quite slow at firing. Let's get out one with a light receiver and watch the speed difference. It's essentially twice the speed, if not a little bit more, but of course with that recoil, 
Oh man, look at how high it goes into the air. But you know, looking down sight, not too bad with control. Still a little bit too off there with that heavy recoil. And then finally, we have the muzzled one here, which has that ring sight, which I really, really like. I don't know why I like this one so much, but I really, really do. But again, this is a light revolver, so it can go very quickly. But let's actually go and test our normal testing method against our mongrel over here with our most powerful version to finish off the episode as well. It's a fun gun. I have really enjoyed my time with it, and I hope that you guys definitely give it a look. Let's just take a shot. Boom! Oh, barely, barely almost killed him. Had a tiny shred of damage left on him. Oh, well, what are you going to do? But almost one shot to I probably hit him in like the leg or something with my luck. One shot almost killed that mongrel. So overall, very good weapon, a very fun, a very powerful revolver using the 556 ammunition and with a cool, interesting lore reason for being here. So if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, and I definitely would suggest that you go and give it a try, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always, and I would definitely say to go and check it out, as it is a very, very fun weapon. Oh, and, ooh, actually, let me go look at my other monitor real quick just to double check on something. Um, yes, 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 there it is. For those of you on Xbox, it is on Bethesda.net, so you guys can find it there as well to enjoy it all for yourself, too. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.